The Galaxy Note 800 was launched in New Delhi on 24th of September at the Oberoi Hotel. They invited renowned fashion designer Rina Dhaka, a model and a fashion choreographer Nayanika Chatterjee, and the principal of Venkateshwar School, Rinalini Kora, to talk the device up a little and how it fit the respective fields. The device rests firmly in a metallic silver frame giving it a very professional subtle look. On the front you have a 1.9 megapixel camera. On the sides you have this speaker grill which I believe is a very very good addition. Watching movies or any video kind of becomes fun when you have such speakers and you know a couple of friends around uh, sitting around you. At the back you have a 5 megapixel camera with LED flash. Now that's new uh, among the very few tablet devices uh, that I've seen and known uh, they usually don't have an LED flash so this I believe is a great addition too. It records at 720p resolution at 30 frames per second. The majority of the surface is obviously the 10.1 inch display. Um, it's an IPS display with a resolution of 1280 by 800 pixels which is not as much as compared to the new iPad but it is fairly high and nothing you could complain about. Colors are very natural, very wide viewing angles and good readability in sunlight. Watching HD movies and playing HD games look quite good on this device. It is an HD screen and that just means that you know you can actually watch HD uh, movies and uh, high definition YouTube videos and it's really going to be fun on this device. The device runs Android 4.0 ice cream sandwich with uh, TouchWiz atop. I somehow don't like TouchWiz too much because it does make the entire experience a little slow and a little less smooth. However, this device is running a 1.4 GHz quad core processor with a 2 GB of RAM. Now that does a great job of rendering ICS. Screen animations, transitions are smooth, though at times you might experience a slight stutter or uh, you know a frame skip. Now on this device, the uh, music player is uh, pretty much the standard music player as we've seen in the Galaxy Tab 2 and the Galaxy S3 devices. But this is a 10.1 inch screen so that makes it a lot easier and well organized. Uh, sound quality is pretty good. The video player is quite standard as well. You can see a live preview of all the thumbnails of all the videos that are there in your tablet. And thanks to the quad core processor, uh, all of these are quite uh, well played. Now one of the most interesting software feature is the Adobe Photoshop Touch which is specifically optimized for touchscreen enabled devices and this one is special considering the integration of S Pen. Photoshop Touch is not very different from the uh, desktop version of the software and in fact it makes it even more easy given the extremely precise touch pen functionality uh, that we have with the S Pen stylus in the Galaxy Note 800. Now, a very quick talk about the S Pen. Now, the S Pen is not your usual capacitive stylus. It is a capacitive pen with inbuilt intelligence that knows what to do depending on how we use it. It has a 1024 step sensitivity, which basically understands the difference between um, when we want to make a thick line and when we want to make a thin line. So, if you could see, I've made a thick line on the top and thin line at the bottom and this pen understood by just uh, measuring the pressure that I'm applying on the tip. So you know it enables to make you make exact drawings, it is extremely high precision and it truly is a piece of art and it has been given a beautiful um, sophisticated uh, professional look.